Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you with a video on UFC 175. The only way that this has been described to me is the WrestleMania weekend for UFC. Uh, everyone piling into uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, heading over to Mandalay Bay uh, for the big fight tonight. Uh, this was supposed to be a huge, huge super card, the fight of the year. Everybody loves the... Uh, and the July 4th weekend in Las Vegas and UFC has sort of capitalized this by making this the fight that everyone needs to go to by having the you know, fan fests and uh, two big cards on a Saturday and a Sunday show. Um, my favorite fighter, Chael Sonnen, was supposed to be on this show, but due, due to his uh, drug suspension and him retiring from UFC, um, you know, the, the fight between him and Victor Belfort is not going to be going on. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing Chael Sonnen, and I guess I'm never going to see Chael again. Uh, I made a video about his uh, retirement and about how he's the guy who really got me into wanting to watch UFC, and uh, yeah, it sucks. But we still got two big shows uh, with Weidman versus Manchita. USA going up against Team Brazil, and uh, you know, Weidman is the, the guy who was able to finally beat uh, Silva, I believe it 168, I think is when that went down. It was uh, well, he beat him twice. Um, once with the once when he broke his leg, that was awesome. Everybody's always gonna remember that. And then you also have Ronda Rousey going up against Davis. I don't think Davis is the best op opponent for Ronda Rousey, uh, seeing how you know Ronda Rousey is is the best you know female fighter in UFC, and they've stacked the deck against her. There's there's better opponents at her. I remember watching her last fight against McMahon, and I was really hoping that McMahon, you know, a, a wrestler. Uh, was going to be able to beat Rousey, but you know, once again, you know, Rousey changed her fighting style and she was able to win. I believe that was the first fight she won without the uh, the use of the armbar. Um, but uh, you know, Rousey goes in there; she does make mistakes. Uh, that that's what makes her a really really fun fighter is that she just goes out there all balls out and almost looks like she doesn't have a fight plan. And uh, Davis could get her uh, if Rousey does make one of those mistakes. But Rousey being the great fighter she is, she's able to make up for him most of the time. Slap that arm bar in there, and then next thing you know, it's over. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, Weidman versus Minchita uh, is a little bit of a tougher fight. You know, uh, Weidman was looked at as the guy who was uh, lucky to beat Silva. Um, as Silva sort of stood there and just, you know, let him knock him out. Uh, and then they came back for the rematch, and then there was the broken leg incident. Um, but honestly... I think Manchita is the guy who really, really could uh, beat Weidman. I think that Weidman is the guy that could beat Manchita. I think that's why this is going to be a, a great fight. I think this is more than likely uh, a fight that's not going to go the distance because the way these fighters go, I'm looking for the, one of those big knockouts to get us all pumped up, baby. UFC 175, Weidman versus Manchita, Rousey versus Davis. It's going to be on tonight, the WrestleMania of UFC. Peace out.